Welcome back to Reynolds Acres Family Farms, guys. Uh, got the combine and everything moved back over here. Got the beans dumped in the bin. Uh, got the combine switched over to corn as we were finishing that up. The co-op showed up and uh, dropped off our eight totes of herbicide, our six pro boxes of seed, and our four totes of uh, fertilizer. As well as they dropped off a tender full of lime. That's the first one of two. And then... Uh, they also dropped off our 1,320 gallons of diesel. Um, we also got a call early this morning from the bank. Um, he uh, let us know that we got approved for the loan that we've been looking at. And uh, basically, we're buying the two cornfields just south of the main farm here from the neighbor. Um, it's going to cost us 500000 or 550000 is what we took a loan for. Uh, it's going to be a monthly repayment of 3200 roughly, uh, over 20 years. Um, so we're going to uh, get those bought here this morning. Go give him the cash here real quick. But uh, basically, we got this one and this one. And then, let's see... We got all our soil maps in. So we got basically another few acres of corn to combine. We got some corn ready to go. So we're going to go hop in the combine and start combining some corn. I'll see you guys when we get over to the field. Alright, we're going to start in here with this first little patch and uh, see what we yield on it. Um, Be nice to see some 300 or bushel or. And we're pushing 277 through the combine right now, so. Some pretty good corn. We also did uh, make a trade with one of the other neighbors for a 12 row corn head. Um, so we're uh, running 12 rows at a time instead of 6. He told me that it would be perfectly fine to run on a 96.10, so we're going to try it this year. Worst case, we upgrade combines next year. Our banker's being really generous right now, so he might let us get away with it. It definitely doesn't like the hills with that 12 row on there. Neighbor's supposed to come by here after a little while to run the combine for us. He had some stuff to do here this morning, so we'll see him here after a little bit. We'll then fire up the grain cart. I'm just going to try and run with the combine semi for now, though. Some pretty high yield corn. I'm fairly impressed with it. We're seeing 281 right now on it. Yeah. 
didn't miss a little chunk there, but oh well, it'll be deer feed. Might as well swing around and grab it. Alright, so we ended up at 191 and a half bushels on that field with 0.6 acres, so that's a pretty good yield there. We're gonna have to drop this corn head here. And we can go ahead and put the auger out, but we need to grab the uh semi here let her build air pressure and we'll get on the road got to go run and grab the bean head from across the bridge and bring it back and then pull it off the header trailer and put the corn head on. I didn't think that through when I bought the 12 row. I'd like to buy that corn there. That's some good looking corn. I think they want like 500,000 though for that piece. Actually, I kind of want to run up there and see if that corn's ready to go up here and do this side all first. So we'll take the pickup over there real quick and see what we got over here. Because that field's not ready to go. The little field ain't ready to go, but that one is. So we'll actually go grab the combine, and we'll uh, run over and start on that field. Uh, might wait till the neighbor gets here, so we'll catch up with you when we get back to it. Alright, so the neighbor and uh, his son are actually going to run the combine and grain cart for us, so we'll just be running the truck here for a little bit. I'm probably actually going to go and start getting some anhydrous put on or something like that. Uh, looks like he's getting full down here in the corner. So hopefully his son will start heading that way here in a second. But uh, we'll uh, see how it goes. We'll get back with you guys here after a little bit. This drone's amazing. Alright, so we got the drone up in the air here. It looks like it got him unloaded there. He's working his way into these fingers here on this waterway. Uh, I had a friend come down from out of state that uh, he works for a co-op up uh, 
in Kansas, and uh, he said that he would run my anhydrous bar for me, so he's over here cooking along trying to get anhydrous put in the ground for us, getting the gas put on for our corn for next year. He has four fields. Yeah, I believe he has four fields to do of anhydrous. And then uh, and these guys are working on the corn over here. We'll uh, see how it goes. I mean, a lot of acres to cover here pretty quick, so we might uh, go talk to the bank about possibly getting another combine. It's hard saying. Um, I at least want them to get the headlines off and see how long that takes. So, But uh, we'll get back with you here after a little while. guys the drone batteries are dead it's getting late so we're going to uh, keep chugging along here I'm gonna sign off for tonight but uh, we'll uh, keep combining and we'll get back with you in the morning don't forget to like comment and subscribe and we'll see you next time <laughs>